Welcome back to Mario Madness's Steel Diver for Nintendo 3DS Walkthrough. Now last time we finished up Mission, mission 3 with the Serpent, and now we're going to go on to Mission 4, but before I actually do Mission 4, I want to point out a couple things. I was playing Steel Diver a few days ago, actually more likely a couple weeks ago, because it's been a while, and I figured out that I could play Steel Commander. Remember in the first episode that I said it was only for multiplayer? No, it turns out you can play against an AI and I can show you that game once I'm finished with the missions and the periscope strike when I show you that. So, and I have one more thing to say. So, let's just hurry this up. And, uh, okay, this is mission four and I'll, uh, this is actually our first boss stage, the depths, so I'll let you read the little description. And there's a good reason why it's called the depths, because you go really, really, really deep with this, like 500 feet. It's the most, it's probably the farthest that you'll go down in this whole game. So anyways, up next I'm going to show you, I've been, um, you can actually in this game race against either your own ghost or a developer team ghost. So if you race against your own ghost, well that doesn't do much, it's a, it just means you're racing against yourself. So you could do, could do like really badly and race against that time if you don't have any other better times. And then the other the dev team ghost as they call it, for developer team ghost, you actually race against um, a real developer who I guess went through a level. And if you beat them, you earn a medal, which I guess is like you won something. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. So right now I have it on the developer team ghost. I'm gonna change that to no ghost since this is a walkthrough. And then of course we are going to start with the manatee and what decal is good for this? Oh yeah, I, I unlocked that Mario decal. Uh, um, to turn your torpedoes into homing torpedoes, which is very helpful. Not for this level though. So I think I'm gonna do the crown, which lowers the health of enemy bosses because this uh, is the boss fight stage, of course. And here we go. But trust me, he's incredibly easy. So you shouldn't have much trouble with him. Sorry, just bumped the camera. And it has been a while since I played Steel Divers, so forgive me if I mess up at all. Yeah, so the reason I haven't been uploading that much uh, recently, like right now, is because I uh, recently got Paper Mario Sticker Star, and I've been working on that game. So anyway, anyway, and I haven't really had time to do Steel Diver and Sonic Colors and all that. Oh my, I just realized the camera was way off. Sorry about that. Anyway, so right here you have to use a torpedo to proceed because then it makes this gigantic head fall and then that somehow makes that door crack and the best part is that you don't have to fight that submarine down there yay <laughs> so okay avoid the mines be careful see look we're already at a depth of like 200 feet I'm not joking but then again, this level is almost completely downhill. Um, I feel like fighting you today. Die. Back. So let's go ahead and do this. Fire. All ahead. Flank. Fire. Okay, you're dead. Fire. Oh, come on. Fire. Oh, I didn't... Realize that I got him, oh boy. <laughs> so here you want to ease down slowly, slowly. 
Oh boy. And then you want to shoot another torpedo so that that head breaks the the floor for whatever reason. Why is there a floor underwater in the first place? Anyway, go slow here because I'm pretty sure there are mines that only go off when they sense you. So, why am I going so fast? I don't know. See, see those, those. You can't avoid them. They will not see you if you put your mascar on. But if you run into them, they will touch you. They will hit you badly. Oh, I hate this part. Okay. Um, okay. I hate this part. The, this head will squish you if you don't get out of the way. There's no way to avoid it. You are going to die just like that sub right there. Technically, it is required to to use that head. Head, yeah. Because he stops the water current right there. So you can get through. Right now, we're at a depth of 580 feet. And let's see if we can squeeze through this narrow passageway. Oh, I'm not sure we can do this. <laughs> Um, okay, I think we got it. Okay, we're at a depth of 640 feet. We're nearing where the boss is, I think. Yeah. And I haven't taken any damage, so yeah. Okay. Prepare. For a boss fight. Oh, hey, look at that. It's a giant squid. Or rather, an ident unidentified sea creature. So basically, how this works. Oh, I didn't miss. I missed, I missed him every single time. How uh, this one works, this guy's really easy. His only attack is what he's doing right now. It's like he scoots back a little bit faster than you can. Just go all the way back to like here and then go ahead again. And also torpedoes will not have an effect on his shell. You need to hit him in the head. Yes. Hit an unidentified sea creature in the head. Like that. And the problem with this guy, I don't, uh, not really the problem, why he's so easy, is because he, um, it's like he doesn't have hardly any attacks, and your torpedoes, each one does major damage. So, yeah, that's, that boss fight's pathetic. Plus, I had that decal on there. Um, that might not hit. Okay, got you, okay. Um, Fire. come on, hit him. Fire. Oh, that was hideous. But then again, I haven't played this game in a long time. Not a long time, just a couple of weeks. And yet I got first place. Oh, wrong initials. Geez, this is like impossible to type at this angle. I'm at a weird angle, so this is weird for me. So yeah, that's all for this part. I hope you enjoyed this part, and in the next part we will uh, continue mission four with the blue shark as soon as it's finished save saving or whatever. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you in the next part.